In this video, I'll show you how to change your tire step by step. And if you clicked on this video because help is not coming and you're on the side of the road with a flat tire, I'm gonna get right into it. First things you need to do. First, locate your spare tire. Second, locate your spare tire toolkit. They should both be in your car. Everything that you need to change your tire should be in your car. I have a Jeep which makes it really easy. The spare tire is right here on the back, but your spare tire could be in your trunk under a little platform or underneath the vehicle like in most trucks. You'll also need to find your spare tire tool kit, which should include a tire iron to get your lug nuts off and the tools that go with your bottle jack so you can jack up your car. My bottle jack is located underneath the seat right there. If you're unsure where those are in your car, you can either look it up on the internet or you can find it in your service manual that comes with your car. After you've located your spare tire and your tool kit, it's time to loosen your lug nuts. You wanna loosen your lug nuts when the vehicle is still on the ground before you jack it up. I usually loosen them in a star pattern even though that might not even be necessary. If you have a locking nut, like I do, your key to the nut should be in your vehicle. If it's not, well, you're kind of screwed. But if you don't have a locking nut, then you don't have to worry about it. I keep my key in my glove box. It looks like this. It fits onto that nut and it gets it off. It's just so people can't easily steal your wheels. Once you have all of your lug nuts loosened, now you can raise the vehicle. Your vehicle will probably have a bottle jack like this. You raise it up by twisting this right and you lower it by twisting it left. You'll want to put this, if you have a solid axle vehicle, right on the axle. That's the most solid spot and it gives you, um, like you don't have to go through the suspension travel for it to lift the vehicle because it's just right on your axle. So you just lift it right up. If you don't have a solid axle vehicle, you'll have to find a sturdy point to put your jack. You don't want to put this on a piece of metal that could bend. There are specific jack mounts or jack points that you are supposed to use, that you're supposed to put your jack on. And then that will uh, be listed in your service, your vehicle's service manual. The tool kit, the jack tool kit, that your vehicle will come with. will probably come with these long pieces and it's gonna be a little confusing at first how to use them. One piece goes into the jack itself and then you'll, you'll use your iron, your tire iron, which you use to loosen your lug nuts on this thing too and the hole goes into one of these. So you'll take one of these other pieces. It's probably different on, on other cars, but you'll take one of these other pieces You'll put it in like that, and then this piece goes like this, so that you can easily twist it like this, and it gives you more leverage. Once your wheel is off the ground, it can doesn't have to be far off the ground, it can just be barely off the ground. Now, take your lug nuts off all the way. Now pull your wheel off and you're halfway done. So now you get your spare, you roll it in. You can line up the, the bolts. And then you just put on your lug nuts hand tight. Once they're hand tight, you can tighten them a little bit more with your tire iron. It's important that you go in a star pattern. So if you start with this one, you go down to this one, and then up to this one, and over to this one, and then down to this one. That way it tightens evenly on your wheel, and then your wheel doesn't get off, off center or off camber or whatever. So, start with this one, go down to this one, 
And we're just snugging it up. You don't need to tighten it all the way right now. And my last one is the locking nut. So I need my key. Okay, spare tire is on. Now you can drop your vehicle back down. So go back to your go back to your bottle jack and start twisting the other way, and it'll start to lower it. So now, once your wheel is back on the ground, you can pull your bottle jack out. All that's left to do is tighten down your lug nuts. So once again, a star pattern is important. If I'm starting with this one, tighten it. Now I'll go up to this one. Go over to this one. You're just making a star so they all tighten evenly. Now, how tight does it have to be? Just do it pretty, pretty freaking tight. You don't want your wheels to fall off while you're driving, but you also don't want to never be able to get them off again. So that's pretty much it. You can change your tire, it's, it's very simple, and everything you need should be in your vehicle already. If you're watching this while you're on the side of the road and help is maybe on the way but maybe not, well, hope everything turns out alright. Hopefully you have everything you need in your vehicle. If you're watching this before something like that happens just so you're prepared, freaking good job. That's pretty smart. It's not super common that it happens, but it definitely does happen. Um, a couple last summer when I was working in Colorado, I was driving the work truck and we were on a dirt road in the middle of nowhere, Colorado, and our tire blew out. And so we had to switch it on the side of that road because help was not coming. That was a Dodge Ram, so the tire was the spare tire was mounted underneath the vehicle, and we had to read the uh, the manual in order to figure out how to drop it down because it's pretty hidden how you do it. You got to reach in there and lower it down and then switch it out, but. Overall, we got it done. Knowing how to do these very basic things for your, on your car is extremely important because you never know when your tire is going to blow out and you either don't have service or AAA is three hours out and you don't have three hours to waste. Also, it's worth mentioning that spare tires are different in many cars. You, some cars might have a, what's called a donut, which is a tiny little wheel that's basically made just to get you from where your tire blew out to the tire shop. You're not supposed to drive it on the highway you're not supposed to drive it just because it's the only wheel you have. You're supposed to drive it right to the tire shop. A lot of cars also have full-size spares. That's a little bit safer and it lasts longer. A Jeep like this one has a full-size spare. The truck like that one has a full-size spare. But then that red car that I showed in the beginning where the spare tire was in the trunk, I'm pretty sure that's just a little donut. So it's just made to take you from where your tire blew out to the tire shop. And if you know how to take off and on your tires, then you know how to rotate your tires, you know how to switch out your friend's tires. So it can really come in handy and you don't want to be stranded not knowing how to do this on your own because it is simple and you should definitely know how to do it. I'm going to start doing more how-to videos on this channel because I think it's really important knowing how to do some of these car things yourself. You don't want to have to rely on a company or a shop to do everything for you or somebody else to come and save you. It's really important to know how to do it all yourself. And don't forget to comment down below some things that you wanna know how to do that I could make videos for. So if this helped, please leave a like. If it didn't help, comment down below what would've helped more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed, and peace.